Hey everybody, Poker Dad here. Um, just doing a. It's actually pretty late at night, 12:46 a.m. at night. Should be going to bed, but instead I just wanted to take a look at some check raising hands. Um, so that was really my focus today that I was kind of um, working on in my studies, um, and I wanted to take a look at some hands here um, that I have played that I had raising opportunities after I checked. So specifically, what I'm looking at here our hands where I am out of position and I check and my opponent bets and I have the opportunity to raise. So I'm going to look at each one of these hands here and I will say whether I should um, fold, uh, call fold or raise um, and then let's see what happens with the remainder of the hand if I should be continuing or not. So anyway right now here as you can see we have jack six offsuit from the big blind so it's actually probably not the best uh, example because uh, we just um, we just took the option on the big blind, <coughs> uh, but we do get bottom pair here, and our opponent bets into us full pot, and we actually folded this here, which I think is fine. Uh, here we get ten eight <coughs> offsuit, which we call from the big blind, which is fine. Get top pair. Our opponent bets. This is a hand that we just, just are going to call. Ace comes out. We check. Our opponent checks behind. And uh, the three of spades comes out here. Uh, we can bet or we can check. I think really betting is the best bet here. With us having um, blocking a flush draw. Um, you know, and I, I don't think checking is a great, great play here. Um, because we don't want to get bluffed off the hand as well. Possibly. So I throw out a half pot bet, and when he raises, obviously we can easily fold his hand. So um, I don't know what he could have been raising with. You know, he could have he could have still had a flush, but it's probably unlikely that he had a flush draw. A flush draw would have would have bet on the turn there. Um, but I mean, obviously, no matter what, we can't call a raise with uh, with second pair weak kicker. <clears throat> Uh, here we have King-10 offsuit in the big blind. First the button. And uh, we check our opponent bets, and this is definitely a clear fold. Not a raising opportunity. Uh, here we open up Jack-7 suited from the cutoff. And we have bottom pair. Um, we also have a gut shot as well. Um, so here we check our opponent bets, um, and I think because we have the bottom pair here, um, we're not going to raise in this spot. Um, you know, we could definitely raise with a gut shot here, uh, but also, I mean, since we were the opener, this flop is much better for him as well already, so, um, I don't think we're going to get many folds with a raise here, so a call I think is the best bet. Of course, we definitely want to call the hand, we don't want to fold it. Four comes out, we check it, he bets, and now uh, we can clearly fold our, uh, I think we could definitely fold our gut shot and our bottom pair here. I mean, you know, our, not bottom pair, but third pair. <clears throat> uh, here I open limp, which is something I've been doing now in the small blind, is now I do have an open limping range in the small blind only. Um... And hands like this, like a jack three suited, would fall under that category. Uh, when he bets here, one big blind. Um, really, I could really call here. For one big blind, I really should call. I folded there. I don't really like that fold. I really should have called there. You know, if, if I'm not calling jack three with a backdoor flush draw, um, when I open limp in this spot for one big blind, then what am I even doing opening up there? I don't like that fold at all. I should at least be calling the one big blind bet with the backdoor flush draw. Here we open up with fours, get called by the button. Here uh, he checks. I mean, I check. He bets, and this is just a clear. F um, it's a it's a clear fault. I think I looked at this hand previously, and I this is a clear fault here. I 
I th I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, when I reviewed it, it was a fold. Um, actually, I, I um, I'm gonna make a video soon. I I purchased uh, Card Runners EV, which is an incredible program, um, and it's a decision tree program. I'm gonna try and make a um, a video on that pretty soon. Uh, incredible program for situations like that. Um, if you're not familiar with Card Runners EV, uh, I think you will enjoy the video. And uh, maybe I'll make that my next video. But all right now we're doing this one. Uh, so here we get a limp, and of course we're just going to complete with the queen six. Our opponent bets, and this is a spot here. Um, we could we could call it, or we can raise it here. Um, I'm okay with either. Here, decide the call. I mean, and, and just because of raising, because of the fact that he is just betting one big blind. And now it goes check check, and nine comes out here, and we just go check check again with the queen. Uh, I bet, which I'm kind of surprised. We got a little bit of value off of it. But I think a check check is fine there with a uh, top pair weak kicker. And if he bets it, then, you know, I could call it. Um, yeah, actually, I'm, I am kind of surprised I did that, too, because it's uh, four cards to a straight as well. A 10 makes a straight. I don't really like that bet there. Uh, a3, of course, here. And with no draw, we just fold that out. Here we have ace-jack. Uh, we get three bet there from the uh, cutoff, which we call. And this one here, we'll just check and fold it. Here we have ace-queen. And we call the three bet. Uh, so this hand here, we don't really flop anything. He bets and uh, no draws or anything. He's easy fold. King 10 here, check, he bats, and again, this is an easy fold. Uh, we don't have any draws on this board at all. Ten three here, we get top pair, very low kicker. Again, this is a spot here for the one big blind. I don't mind actually just raising it here. I mean, our hand is so vulnerable as it is. Um, raising it up here, I don't think is the worst idea. Nah, that was a pretty bad call. This is a pretty bad call. I mean, if you look at this hand, the way this hand played out, he bets. I would have definitely liked to see a raise here. Maybe a raise, you know, folds out that nine. Um, and then a seven comes out here, and he bets again. I don't definitely don't mind this call, but you know, when he bets three three streets here, I mean, if he was betting a ten, we are losing. If he was betting a nine, we're losing. So. I really should have folded that hand there. Uh, here again, uh, we open limp, and this is a clear fold. Here we three bet king queen off from the small bind and get a call. So this is a little bit of a different situation because here we're actually the preflop raiser. Uh, but definitely king queen offsuit here. We're definitely going to be checking. And when he bets here, this is an easy fold for us with no draws or anything. Uh, here we three bet. So this is again another situation where actually we are the preflop raiser with the three bet. Uh, again, no no draws, no backdoor draws, no flush draws, no straight draws here. So when he bets, it's an easy fold. Here, a three bet comes in, and we call with the eights. He checks. I mean, we check. He bets, and again, really nothing here that we want to call. Oh, I do call it. I don't like. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Nothing here we want to raise. Um, I don't know how I feel about this call. Third pair. Um, I don't really like this call here. I think actually I can just fold this hand. Um, This board is not is not great here. I mean, because he's definitely has some kings, some jacks, you know, that he definitely was. He was definitely calling with king queen suited. Uh, ace ace king could be calling here. Ace jack, you know. So, um, 
definitely don't like this. Definitely don't like this call. Three comes out, and now we do fold it. I think eight. We got a eight. We got a fold there. Okay, here for the big blind we have ace eight, uh, ace eight offsuit. Uh, so again, no draws here, so we're just gonna fold out of this one here. Queen ten offsuit, and we call the big blinds here. Um, here we have a gut shot. So he bets something small like this, two big blinds. I mean, this is something that we definitely, I think, just need to be need to be raising here. Pump this up to uh, six big blinds. I just called. So I don't like that. That's definitely something that I want to fix in my game, and I really want to be raising in that spot there. Now five comes out, and he bets, and I'm going to fold it. But, you know, if, if I raise it there, then now I can fire the turn and, you know, possibly get a fold. Instead, I just called it, played it passively, and uh, I don't like how I played that hand. Here I have ace five offsuit, which we're going to call. So a lot of these, of course, are going to be from the blinds um, because playing out of position in these hands. Uh, here we do have a gut shot. He bets. Again, this is a hand that I think we should just probably be raising here of three big blinds. But we just called it, played it passively. And, yeah, I don't know what I was doing there. I don't like that play. I could just check down and possibly win with ace high. Betting there made absolutely no sense. Uh, okay, we have a limp pot here. Um, yeah, this is nothing. We just fold this. Queen two. You've seen a lot of trash hands here. I mean, having a lot of trash hands. Here we have a bottom pair, back to a flush draw. Um, is a hand here. I just would rather call. Definitely not fold. Five comes out, and now we can just fold this here. Um, so here we have a gut shot and a backdoor flush draw. Uh, so he bets here. I mean, this is definitely, I think, a great... Um, no, actually, no, this, this is not a good hand to raise. We don't want to raise this hand. This hand we don't want to raise because, like, we'd rather save our raises for, like, more nutted hands. Um, I used to raise hands like this more often um, that aren't nutted, but this hand here, um, I mean, I guess it could, I guess it is nutted because if a three comes out, we're definitely going to have the nut straight here. So actually, you know what? If you think about it, this actually is a nutted hand uh, because if a three comes out, you know, we are going to have a nut. Yeah, we're definitely going to have a nut straight. Um, you know, we're not going to be worried about any uh, bigger straight beating us. So actually, this is a hand that we could definitely raise here. So I missed an opportunity by not raising, and he bets and we're going to fold. So again, you know, if, you know, that's the situation, we raise it, we could get a fold right there. Uh, if not, we can just, um, we can just lead out on the uh, turn with the gut shot. Okay, so jack eight, he bets, we're just going to call this here. And we definitely want to fire the river. Mm, I missed an opportunity there. Um, I guess we can let it go check check there actually. Pretty big button raise. Of course, we're gonna call with sevens, and we check. And if he bets here, um, we could definitely call it. I know it looks scary because there's a uh, flush out there and we don't have any hearts, but we definitely want to call this with our pocket sevens. So bad fold there. I don't like that fold. Um, here, I this is something else I'm doing that's a little bit different now. Um, is I am calling some hands. I do have a calling range now in the small blind. Which actually, I'm getting coaching, getting coaching right now. And this is my coach is pushing on me. My I, I hired uh, you may know Adam Weasel Jones. He's one of the top trainers, I believe, uh, for online poker. And um, I'm using him as a coach, and that's something that he employs. And I think it's actually pretty actually smart having a uh, calling range from this small blind which I never really would have thought of because I always played you know three better fold um, so I kind of like having that um, anyway here uh, what we have is 
pocket tens. Um, we don't have any draws or anything like that. Uh, he bets here. I mean, of course, we're just going to call our tens. Nine comes out. Check. And, um, and now at this point, second pair is really should be a fold here. We call it. Um, okay. And of course, now we definitely have to fold here to the shove. Ooh. Am I missing something here? Eight, nine, ten jack. Ooh. Well, this hand was pretty poorly played. I should have folded the turn. Mm. What the hell was I doing in this hand? I definitely should have folded the turn here. And I lost... Wow. This is really bad. What did I have? Yeah, wow. I, I how, do I, how do I how do I go all in on this? When I check here and he bets again and he bets pot, I don't know how the heck I am calling with second pair here at this point. That's definitely not a good play. And when he goes all in, I mean, you know, he's beating me with... I mean, first of all, it's a paired board, so he could have a full house. He could have been betting with a king... Okay, so maybe he, you know, any king is beating me, any jack is beating me, you know. So, I mean, there are so many hands, of course, and also, you know, there's, there's straight draws out here as well. Um, I mean, of course, I'm blocking tens, which helps. Uh, but anyway, I mean, king jack, there's so many hands here that, you know, are better than me. I don't know what the hell I was thinking by calling this hand. This is pretty gross. That was not good. That's bad. I mean, I lost a whole stack on that. I'm on a little downswing right now, too. Five buying downswing, and that'll playing like that ain't gonna ain't gonna help me win. Uh, help my win rate, that's for sure. Uh, here we have king two offsuit, and our opponent bets. Of course, we're just gonna call here. Pick up two pair, which is nice. Uh, we could definitely raise him here, and we do. Jack comes out, and of course, we're going to lead out here for value and get a fold. Here we call in the uh, big blinds here. So we can call here or we can raise. Um, I opted to call instead of three betting here with Jack 10 suited. And we do get a flush draw, which is good. Uh, he bets here. So, I mean, we have the option of raising or betting here. Um, so I think that Jack 10, Jack 10 suited actually is probably better here. Um Is better here as a call and not a raise. So I did raise it here. Um, I think it would have been better here to call this and just reserve from my more nutted flush draws here. I mean, this is still pretty good. Um, you know, we could also improve here to uh, a straight draw on the turn. Um, but I th I'd rather just see me just call this here and not, not raise it. Um, now we do end up with an open ender, of course. Definitely want to want to um, barrel this here and we bet half pot uh, which I think is fine you know I'm giving myself a good price for my draws here we get a call uh, fortunately I do miss it here so this is a tough spot because I, I hate to say it but really what I need to be doing here is actually and this is what I learned today with my training is um, giving up on this hand actually um, it may seem perfectly um, the right play would be to barrel here and bluff here um, but this is actually a pretty bad hand for me to bluff with. Um, if this guy was on flush draws, he hit them, uh, so we're not getting him to fold that. Um, and, you know, we are really blocking any bluffs that he would have because of the fact that we have spades. So I don't think, you know, I mean, maybe we're going to get a pair of kings to fold. I mean, we could. We could definitely get a pair of kings to fold, but... You know, he could have a king of diamonds here, and, you know, he's blocking, you know, he's blocking our potential uh, flush. So, um, yeah, really, a hand like this on the flush draw, we just got to check it and, and lose the hand. But we bet, and he calls. 
and he has aces, and he had ace of diamonds. So, you know, definitely, I don't like how I played his hand. Should have absolutely checked this river and just check folded. So, don't like how I played the hand. Glad I looked at it. Here we have pocket twos, which we call from the small blind. So we can call or or raise there. Um, I think more that's going to be in my calling range now. Pocket twos. I uh, don't really want a three bet pocket twos, but don't want to fold them either. Um, three point five big blind bet's kind of big, uh, but you know, uh, we all we do already have um, half a big blind invested into the pot. Anyway, we have pocket twos here. Um, of course, we are going to check um, and when our opponent bets here. This is a pretty easy fold. Anyway, we have ace-10 offsuit, uh, which we open up for big blinds here. So actually, um, you know, I also did some training on limp pots at a position. I actually would like to um, see myself raise it up five big blinds here. Just another big blind being at a position in a limp pot. Uh, either way, we get the call from the button which of course is going to be a recreational player. Uh, but we don't really flop any strong draw here at all, of course, and when he bets, this is an easy fault. And here we are the opener, ace-9, um, offsuit. And this is just an easy fold. Jack-4 out of position. Uh, again, it's just going to be an easy fold here. Here we have Jack Nine suited, which we call. Um, no draws or anything. This is again an easy fold. Pocket sevens from the small blind. Um, this here, um, if he bets here, definitely I would like to call it here. It's a super dry board. Um, really kind of favors me though, than it favors him uh, being a preflop raiser. And especially here with one big blind, of course, we're definitely going to call with the sevens. Uh, six comes out here. Uh, when he bets now, five big blinds. It's kind of interesting. Um, kind of a weird bet. Um, but with third pair, with third pair here, I got to fold the sevens. Okay. A six in the limp pot. Here we get top pair. Um, Definitely just want to call this here. Don't want to raise it. Um, seven comes out. Goes check, check. Three comes out. So here with ace, um, ace weak kicker, ace. Uh, let's just go check, check. Uh, I bet it. He calls. Uh, we took it down. Got some value. Um, so maybe he had some kind of pocket pair that he bet there, possibly. Uh, still, check, check, I think, is probably the best thing. Although, we, he may check and, you know, we may check and he may try to bluff us. and But we are blocking, you know, sp uh, spade draw, you know, spades uh, flush. Uh, it would have been hard to call, though. What was my bet sizing here? Half pot. Go on the half pot. I guess I don't mind it. You know, I don't know what I'm getting value from except for maybe some pocket pairs. But I mean, ace ace six should be good there most of the time anyway. Um, going check check and but I don't I don't know what he would bet there too. So it could really go either way. It's one that's an interesting one. I'm not really sure, 100% if I played that correctly or not. Okay, here, 8-9. Eight, 9-8, nine. Uh, nine, you know, really, I should have, um, I should have raised him up here with 9-8 suited. Either way, I have a backdoor flush draw. Um, I pot size bet on a backdoor flush draw in a limp pot. Um... I really think I could probably, I probably should be folding this here. I don't want to raise it. Um, not crazy about it. I could improve to an open ender. Uh, 
I actually have a oh I have a gut shot too actually. So I gotta call this. I gotta call this actually. The back to the flush shot and a gut shot, I gotta call it. Jack comes out, obviously doesn't really help me at all. He bats and he comes an easy fold. Uh here we have Queen seven, we are the PFR out of position. Um we missed this board. Um no gut shots, no no draws. Pot size bet, easy fold. Uh, here we have ace five, and here we limp over to the big blind. Um, and what do we have here? We have a gut shot here. So this is not a great gut shot because the six is on the board. So because the six is on the board, if it. Um, I mean, we got a call here. Mm, the raise. Well, it's an open ender, so. Um, yeah. Okay. This is this is fine. You know, because it is an open ender. We are drawing to the nuts. If a seven comes out, um, if a seven comes out, I think we definitely have the nuts here because. I mean, the only thing we were is, you know, this was a limp pot. I mean, of course, you could always have 8-5. It's a limp pot. Um, so, yeah, the ra I think the raise is definitely the right spot here. The, ra the right the right play here. We are definitely drawing to the nuts there, so. Okay. And then another limp pot. I know it's like so many limp pots, but, you know, you got to play these too. So, um, uh, here in this spot here, um... No draws or anything like that. We just fall down on this. Jack seven offsuit. And uh here no draws, so we fall down on this. Queen seven. Seeing some real trash hands here. Queen seven, this is a call from the big blind to a two big blind open from the button. Get bottom pair here. He bets, uh, not bottom pair, middle pair, definitely want to call it. Six comes out, we check, he bets now, um, he bets about uh, two-thirds pot here. Uh, second pair, we can easily fold this now, no draws or anything. Call 10-9 offsuit. We get second pair. He bets, we're definitely not going to be raising this here, just calling it. Five comes out, check. Goes check check, queen comes out. Uh, this is definitely a spot I could bet here if I want to bet small. Um, might not be the worst idea. Maybe I put throw out a three big blind bet. I checked. He bet and I folded. Um, I'm not really sure in that spot either. Uh, something I'd like to take a better look at if I should just be throwing out. Um, a pro bet there, river pro bet, to possibly get a fold and just throw out a small, a small pro bet. Um, I think this best bet throw out like a two big blind, three big blind pro bet out there, um, and we could possibly get a fold there. And because here now, when he, you know, he could bet half pot, he could really be betting anything. It just, um, you know, pocket eights, pocket sevens, he could throw out a bet there. I mean, is it likely? Probably not. Um, so, I, I could go check, check. I could bet some wall there, one or the other. I mean, you could say he's not never going to call with worse, but, you know, we could get a fold there and not get possibly bluffed off the hand. Here we have King Jack from the big blind. Uh, and, yeah, this is the proper play here, raising it up here from the big blind. Um, we really don't hit this board. Um, once it checks, we, get, we can fold. Good old 10-4 offsuit. And we hit uh, three of a kind. He bets, and this is definitely a clear raise here. Mm. I just called. Definitely, I definitely should raise this here. Um, you know, it definitely is a, a very vulnerable hand. It's Even though I have three of a kind, it is a paired board. Not only that, there is a uh, foster out there as well. Um, so I don't like this. Raise would have been the best bet here. 
I know he probably would have folded, but you know now a flush draw comes out. You know we don't love this. He bets here, pot size bet. I mean you know we have to call it. Ace comes out and it goes uh, check check. We take it. Um, we take it down, but you know I I, really, I would have liked to raise here. And you see, actually, we raise it. I think he would have called his five two. Uh, here we have King Nine suited, which we bump up from the cutoff. Uh, so here we have a back to a flush draw, but not really a back to a flush draw. Um, so out of position here, as the pre-flop raiser, I'm looking. You know, I, I'm actually going to be uh, reducing the amount of hands that I want to. C bet here in this spot, and a hand like King Nine suited is probably going to be better for a check. Um, I am okay check calling it, depending on what kind of price we get. Um, at least check calling one street, and this is of course a perfect price. We're gonna obviously always call the one big blind bet, and now the six comes out and it goes check check. Now a 10 comes out. This actually, um, I think, is a pretty good board here that we can throw out a bluff now. Uh, we checked it. He bet, and we folded. I think, um, clearly, we should have bluffed this river um, when he checks back, when he checks back on the, uh, on the turn. So we definitely missed an opportunity to take down this pot. Here we got three nine suited. Back to a flush draw on a paired board. He bets. Uh, I think this is a pretty clear call here. We raise it. I don't like this raise at all. Um, I'd rather see myself raising with, you know. Um, I mean, what kind of hands would I. I mean, obviously, any six, um, I'm okay with raising here. Um, I'm not going to have too many draws that would raise here, but. You know, I could have, maybe I had a hand like 5-3 um, suited that I um, I opened one from this small blind. You know, I'm okay with something like that. Um, I'm okay with something like that raising here. Um, this should have just been a call. Now he raises and we have to fold. Here we are going to raise it up with Ace Five suited and get a call. Uh, so Ace Five suited here. This is an interesting one. This is one that I could make an argument for check raising. Um, it's a nutted backdoor flush draw. We don't have any other flush draws. Um, you know, in terms of open enders, you know, we could have Queen Jack here, which we would want to raise. Um, maybe a hand like. Um, let's see, we're in the small blinds. So maybe a hand like 9 7 suited. Um, we'd want to raise here. Um, uh, although 9 7 suited isn't that great because if a queen comes out. Well, I mean, there. yeah, I mean, he could be calling me. No, actually, let's see, Queen, uh, Ace Jack. Yeah, I mean, Ace Jack could be calling me from the big blind, so. Um, but, you know, definitely Queen Jack, you know, we want to raise here, so. But, you know, we don't really have any flush draws, of course, so we got back to the flush draw, so I think Ace 5 is probably a pretty good candidate for a check raise. He bets, so. Um, definitely don't mind, you know, raising it up 21 big blinds here. We folded. I don't like that play at all. Definitely, definitely was a good spot for a check raise. I know he bet pretty big there, but I think it's a good spot. Right, let's look at one more hand. We have four four here from the big blind, and we get a call. I mean, four four from the big blind. We call uh, another great five. Of course, we're gonna check fold this one here. All right. Uh, so there you go. Um, Taking a look at some check raising opportunities. Uh, I actually think this was actually a pretty good exercise. I'm glad I went through it. Um, 
And uh, yeah, so if you like, you so I, I know this is my first video in a while. I haven't been posting too many videos. Um, I apologize for that. Definitely, I think the next video I want to post is going to uh, involve Card Runners EV. I am like in love with this program. I am addicted to it. Um, it is so much fun to use. Um, so I think that'll probably be what my next video is. I'll do a hand review using Card Runners EV. Um, try and do it sooner than later. Maybe try it this weekend if I have time. Uh, but other than that. Um, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you like what you saw, do me a favor, please subscribe. And until next time, Poker Dad.